Welcome to Laurel Smith with Chicago, Illinois, it's nonprofit home video and artwork creations. In this particular video, we're going to be talking about the Holy Hydrogen Light Creation Plasma Circle, in which can be seen in Microbiology 101, going around the chemical circular area of the human cell, 75, and 1 John 111, 15 billion year sun throne that existed in the black outer region of space before it created the 5 billion year world. So it is the same thing we will see if, if we went back in time and took a cell sample from the European false man-based image of Jesus. We will see chemical cells making up his body and they all have black dots in the center in which we refer to as the cell nucleus. And when we try to identify the physical light that exists in the black outer regions of space before it created the five billion year world, growing around the chemical circular area of Jesus' cell as uh, the physical light to light of every minute coming to the world, we will be shocked to see that this rotating circle of hydrogen light is in rotation and it appears in the area of cross shaped building structure in Lalibala, center of the globe earth stealth permit Mercator projection. Now remember, if you look down, put the earth at your feet and look down upon it like a basketball, put a square around it. That's the Masonic square that encloses the cross shaped building structure in Lalibala. But however, the same rotating circle of hydrogen light we see around all the cells in your body is appearing in the North Pole area, uh, 75 degree Arctic circle. It's a, so it's a rotating circle of hydrogen light plasma at the top of the blue basketball shaped earth, referred to as the northern light. So it has seven uh, some, uh, hydrogen light color spectral frequency we call the real borealis. Just like it's seven colors in white light, seven colors in the rainbow. So the biblical light that light of every man that comes to the world is not connected to the European false man-based image of Jesus or Jehovah. It was stolen from the African land things of ancient uh, Giza, Gaza, Palestine, Ethiopia, and Jerusalem. And Judea, uh, soul theology of the human kind and body, or the soul light of the mind and body. This soul light is connected to this same rotating circle of hydrogen light plasma. Now, the mind light, oh, and, and the top of the uh, North Pole still permit Mercator projections. So, when we look at the dome of the rock, outer wall, stone, rectangular, winter frame, 7A4, uh, Babylonian step pyramid image, we're talking about the book of Psalms, 105th chapter, 23rd verse, Islamic, Aramaic, Dead Sea Scrolls, speaking 12 sons of Jacob. Now, when we talk about the V-shaped piece of land, where Babylon is located, remember, where Iraq is? Okay, so uh, when we talk about this Babylon in Iraq and the first step pyramids of the 12 African continent tribes, so don't get it twisted by solely relying on the 400-year-old mistranslated King James Bible, false European slave-based textbook lies. And this is also preached in high schools and geography books. When you go back to the globe earth step permit Mercator projection, 784 Dome of the Rock, Outer Wall, Stone, Rectangular, and Winter Frame image, we see the same cross shaped building structure in Lalibala. Okay, within the uh, globe, uh, when we area view it, we see a deep Masonic square, just like a bulldozer outside your home, car uh, 40 feet deep square. You're looking at it from a helicopter and jump down in it. You, once you reach the bottom and look up, you're looking at it from the cubic dimensions of New Jerusalem. Because every cube has a square for a ceiling, a square for a floor, a square for a left and right wall. So the cross-shaped building structure in Lalibala, when you ever view it, this stone cross-shaped building image of Nibiru, the planet of the crossing, uh, is uh, within the cubic dimensions of New Jerusalem, the deep Masonic square. Now remember, the square enclosure area in, in Ethiopia, we see an African continent for a pre-Noah flood image before the V-shaped piece of land where Mount Sinai is located separated from the African continent. Remember that little separation is about like 150 feet deep water called the Euphrates River. So that's a minor separation. But when we look at this, um, we see the holy hydrogen light of creation uh, glowing around all the chemical circular area of the human body in microbiology 101 which becomes 1 John 1, 1, biblical light that exists in the black outer regions of space before it created the 5 billion year world. So, now remember, it's coming from the sun, 93 million miles away across the black outer regions of space. Now, in astronomy, it's, it's referred to as the solar wind, a, a hydrogen-like plasma, moving across the space into the North Pole area of the blue basketball shaped earth. But uh, if you do this little experiment, turn your k television tube, an uh, old-fashioned TV tube, you know, the big television with the tube, to our station, you're going to see tiny photons of light bumping in front of one another. But if you take a magnet out your living room speaker and hold it about a paper thickness in front of the tube, the moment the magnetic field interacts with the tiny photons of light bouncing back and forth, you're going to see seven rainbow circles in the tube. 
and all those photons of light is redirected into their lowest seven color rainbow circular frequency. So and if we see the same seven rainbow circles at the top of the blue basket bar shaped earth called the Northern Lights or the Royal Borealis. So that means that the Egyptian globe earth step pyramid Mercator projection of the Lion Sphinx of the tribe of Judah is the Babylonian step pyramid globe earth Mercator projection. So if we go to South America we we'll see the same step pyramids. But when we go to the Dome of the Rock, Outer Wall, Octagonal Building Structure, we see what? The uh, 784 Babylonian style pyramid image in the rectangular winter frame, stone rectangular winter frame. But in the center of the, uh, now remember, Babylonian 7 and 4 style pyramid is the top of the earth. So just picture five blocks stacked on top of one another on the left side that they form a step that you walk upon. Now stack five blocks on top of one another on the right side that they form a step that you walk upon. That's the black African Babylonian style pyramid. But in the Dome of the Rock Outer Wall 7 and 4 style pyramid image, we see two step pyramids connected at their bases. You say, why? Because it gives us a north, south, east, and west geographic coordinate vector. So when we see this uh, rotating circle of hydrogen light plasma in the center of uh, a uh, uh, dual step pyramid image in the Dome of the Rock, Outer Wall, Stone Rectangular Winter Frame, we're looking at the origin of the uh, solar theology of Malachi 4th chapter 2nd verse, Wing Sunday. Which is the African Lion Sphinx of ancient Giza, Gaza, Palestine, Ethiopia, and Jerusalem, solar theology of the human God, as it originated in uh, 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 first John 1 John 15 billion year sun throne that exists in the black outer regions of space before created the five billion year world. My latest archaeological, theological, astronomical, and microbiological discovery images of the error viewed cross shaped building structure in Lalibala where we see the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem, out of wall, stone rectangular winter frame, 784 Babylonian Stealth Pyramid image. The Babylonian Stealth Pyramid image is a part of the 12 African continent tribes in which was ruled over by the book of Genesis 49 chapter and 8 verse, fourth son of Jacob. Now remember, the fourth son of Jacob is a European English text book uh, title to the African Lion Sphinx of Ethiopia. So when we go back to the 12 sons of Jacob and we erase that out of the 400 year old mistranslated King James Bible and we're left with the 12 African continent tribes that was ruled over by the black African couching Lion Sphinx of the book of Genesis 49 chapter 8 verse. So when we look at the couching down as a lion and there's no lion narrative in the 400 year old mistranslated King James Bible concerning the black African lion things of ancient Giza, Gaza, Palestine, Ethiopia, and Jerusalem. Now remember, Judea is a part of the, within the V-shaped piece of land in the Northeast African continent area. So in my video, one of the greatest archaeological, theological, and astronomical discoveries to date reveals an entire African continent image where we do not see the V-shaped piece of land where Mount Sinai is located in the V-shaped piece of land. Now history books and uh, geography books refer to this as the Middle East. But however, when we compare the Arrowview African continent image as seen from outer space to the cross-shaped building structure in Lalibala uh, wall enclosure image of an African continent. So in my video you're going to see for the first time an African continent image that is not separated, uh, that has an intact uh, uh, V-shaped piece of land. Now when we look at this then we can place the African Sphinx as the ruler of the entire African continent. Now when we look at this map of the African continent 12 tribes and erase the 12 tribes and just uh, look at the African continent then if we draw a line from south to north 12 white lines look at it with Google map we're going to see Africans living in each of the white lines from north to south on the African continent hence comes the term the 12 African continent tribes so we no longer have to refer to the African people, okay, uh, or the Afro-Americans uh, that were shipped from 
the African continent area of Giza and Gaza, Palestine and Judea. Okay, we no longer have to refer to them as Hebrew Israelites or Hebrew. All these false European uh, slave-based English textbook terminologies can be done away with immediately. So what we're left with is the 12 African continent tribes. You get me now? Okay. So the 12 African continent tribes was ruled over by the book of Genesis 49 chapter and 8 verse uh, couching Ethiopia and lion things to the tribe of Judah. So when we look at the 12 African continent tribes dismissing the European false man based religious of the world image of Jesus and Jehovah we have made a great archaeological and theological advancement. So as we look at this African continent the first thing we realize is that the uh, V-shaped piece of land okay that is referred to in the center of the V-shaped piece of land is where Mount Sinai is the biblical mountain where UFO circular glowing spaceships landed in the center of the V-shaped piece of land if we compare the African continent uh, four image in which I discovered in the area viewed cross shaped building structure square enclosure area to the original African continent as viewed in uh, globe map books okay now we will begin to see that the 12 African continent tribes was educated by the lion sphinx of the tribe of Judah and extraterrestrials with three fingers and one thumb with big black oval shaped eyes they stood about four feet tall so the African continent tribes was educated by extraterrestrial great guardians of our entire solar system. So the great extraterrestrials in Ezekiel's will in the world like your foe, they had three fingers and one thumb on each hand, big black oval shaped eyes, they stood about four feet tall, they had no hair at all on their body, and uh, they had smooth skin between their legs where a female vagina would uh, uh, actually be. So this immediately places the extraterrestrials of Ezekiel's will within the will like UFO that landed in the V-shaped piece of land central area where Mount Sinai is. So it separates them from the false man based religions of the world. So why? Because the man character in the false man based religions in the King James Bible remember we talking about Europeans conquering Africa uh, V-shaped piece of land area now when we talk about the false man based image of Jesus and Jehovah we see two European white faced characters one has a beard, both of them have beards and both of them have a penis underneath their white robes this in itself uh, criminalizes the false man based religions of image of Jesus and Jehovah okay so once we discover that the God is not a man narrative within the 400 year old English slave based textbook called the English Bible we're talking about the kings and queens of England so we're talking about white faced Europeans uh, in during the ancient African pharaoh's time in the V-shaped piece of land okay area we're talking about Philistines and Greeks so the Greek Philistines uh, cross the Medi Mediterranean Sea from Europe Okay, and so there was an ongoing battle with the African continent twelve, with the twelve African continent tribes. Now remember, in North uh, uh, East Africa, right, the Middle Northeast Africa area, you have the book of uh, you have Isaiah nineteen nineteen Isaiah uh, pyramids. So those are the North African pyramids in Egypt. And just in front of the pyramids in Egypt, we see a black African face upon a lion's body. So this is the book of Genesis 49, chapter 8, verse, couching Ethiopian lion sphinx of the tribe of Judah.